Here's everything you need to do to boost your Instagram profile today. Hey there, I'm Jillian Kendrick and welcome to the Momentum Marketing Podcast. I'm a mama, a wife, an entrepreneur, and a three-time best-selling co-author. In each episode, you'll get real-world practical advice and strategies and maybe a parenting tip or two along the way. If you're ready to create a business that supports your family and your lifestyle, then you're in the right place. Hey there, I'm so excited that you're here with me for another episode of the Momentum Marketing Podcast. My team and I have been doing this since earlier this year in 2023, and I just have to say I've been looking back at all of the episodes and I'm really, really proud. I'm proud of this episode. I'm proud of the content. I'm proud of the system that we built to create it and to put it out there into the world. I'm proud of my team who edits it and designs the cover images and like does all of the extra stuff. And this has been such an amazing, rewarding, creative experience. And I love it so much. Today, we're talking about other ways that you can be creative and feel fulfilled using Instagram. I know a lot of people have an Instagram or maybe you have one and you haven't done much with it or you're wondering like, is Instagram the place for me? Instagram is amazing. There's so many people on Instagram of all different ages. Instagram is incredible. And if you aren't using your profile and getting the most benefit out of it that you can, you're definitely missing out on potential sales and customers or followers because your profile and the page that they see is an opportunity for them to get to know you a little bit better without investing too much time or too much effort. And so you want to make it super easy for them to get to know you, see the highlights, watch all of your best stuff quickly, easily, and in one place. And your profile really is a great way to do that. And really, I'm only doing this and know about this because I'm doing it for myself. But this is a great opportunity for me to showcase what I'm doing in real time and to pass that knowledge off to you. So first off, you can always have a profile picture. In fact, you can have like a picture and an avatar. That's new. It used to be just one picture and that was it. But make sure that you have an up-to-date picture. If you don't, go do a photo shoot. Go take a nice selfie. Get a shower, get your hair done, look really nice put your best foot forward, or take a picture that shows who you are. If you produce content that's funny and satirical, your photo should reflect that. If you produce content that's for a personal brand, the photo should be of you. If you produce content that's for a business brand, the photo should be something that represents that brand or that business. If you do mom content, you might want to include your kids. I include my son in a lot of my content and I talk about him a lot, but it's always the back of his head or a side profile or something else. We have chosen as a family not to show his face on the internet and that's what we're comfortable with, but it's such a huge part of my life that I include that in a lot of my branding, a lot of my content, a lot of the stuff that I do and I talk about being a mom. So there's ways to include your children, but do it in a way that's safe So that's the profile picture. Make sure that you have one, definitely. Next is going to be your name. And this should be, if you're a personal brand, it should be your name. If you're a business brand, it should be the business name. You can also always put something like a nickname or you can put full name and then a pipe or a dash or a hyphen or maybe an emoji or something and then put your nickname or your handle or the thing that people know you by or your brand or your company name. There are ways that you can be really, really creative here. It doesn't just have to be your name or your business name. You can put other things, which is really nice. Next is going to be your username. This is going to be your handle, your at, whereas I'm at Automated Mama because that's my life. I run an automation agency. I teach sales funnel automation and I'm a mom. That's my whole life. So that's a pretty great username. Make sure that your username or your handle, again, is reflective of your business or your brand or the thing that you're doing. I see a lot of people now who want to be Instagram influencers, which is great. That's fine. It's a really fun, creative business and there's passive income in that. So that's nice. But I see when they're first starting out and they kind of flip flopped from being one person or one entity on Instagram, and now they're going off and doing something else. So a girl that I follow, she started out as a style brand, then she moved into doing more 
Disney related content. And now she does Disney style content. So even though the word style is in her profile name, she's kind of changed just a little bit. And the name is still reflective of who she is and what she does, but it's not a full representation of what she's doing right now, if you know what I mean. So that would be, again, a great place in your handle to represent yourself and give people an idea of what you do and why you do it or who you do it for, or give them an expectation of what your content is going to be about. Next, you can do pronouns. I've chosen personally not to add any pronouns. I have just chosen not to do this. I'm not making a political statement or anything else like that. If pronouns is important to you, I think that's great. And you can add the pronouns that you want to be called. And in pronouns, you can actually put it in different languages and choose whether or not to show your followers the pronouns or to show it publicly, which is really nice. Next is going to be your bio. And in the bio, this should again be a representation of who you are, what you're about, what you do, and give them a quick five or six word at the most snippet of who you are, what you're about, and what kind of content they can expect to get from you. Here I have mama, wife, entrepreneur, watch my latest free training, click and then I have a downward facing hand emoji because underneath where this goes in the profile is my link that I have to everything. And that's going to be the next thing that we talk about. So then you can add external links. And typically I think Instagram only lets you have one. Sometimes they let you have more than that. It might depend on like how many followers you are, if you pay for their service, or it might depend on other factors that I'm not familiar with, but you can definitely have one link, which is where people started getting into having things like Linktree is a really popular one. There's a few others that I don't know of and can't remember off the top of my head, but these are great because rather than having one hyperlink that goes to one place like your website or an opt-in or your lead magnet or a training or a coupon or some content or your affiliate links or something else, you can have that link tree be all of your links, the highlight reel all on one page. This is really great. I like using things like this. Personally, we don't use Linktree. I have a page on my website that we've designed to look similar to Linktree. And honestly, I think you could do this very easily. Even if you don't have a URL or a proper website yet, you could go to Google and create a Google site and have a Linktree that you don't have to pay for. That's super simple and easy to create that you could do on your own. It doesn't have to be this super fancy, high tech sort of thing. As long as you're getting the content out there and making it easy for people to see your stuff and share it and look at it and consume what you have to offer, that's the purpose. So rather than pay for Linktree, because it's just another thing that we would have to pay for as a business, I had my team create a page on our website that looks very similar and has buttons and images and things. And it really is my highlight reel of all of the stuff that I would want somebody to see. Specifically, I was actually looking into doing some Amazon affiliate stuff as well, because I've had a lot of people recently asking me things like, well, what kind of mic do you use? And what kind of lighting do you use? And what computer do you have? And what's for this and what's for that. And da, 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 da. so what I did was I added all of that of like my favorite things, the stuff that I can't live without under our link tree. And because I don't have enough followers, you might be in the similar situation as me. I don't have enough followers to justify being in the Amazon influencer program, but anybody can be in the Amazon affiliate program. So what I did was we added all of my affiliate links to the page that all of our links sit on. And then it makes it just so much easier that anybody can click on that and we can get paid for sharing the same stuff that we already use, which is great. You could put gender as well if you want, and there's multiple options for gender, which is really nice to see. Next, you can have a specific page that you are connected to, I believe, with 
if it, it's within Facebook. And you want to make sure that this is connected because when you start running ads, you'll create the ad inside of Facebook, but then the ad is also going to be shown on Instagram. And unless your profiles are connected, you can't do that. So you want to make sure that those pages are connected. You can also have a category. So if you're an artist, a blogger, a clothing brand, a digital creator, an entrepreneur, a writer, a gamer, a photographer, a creator, etc. You can choose which category you believe best represents you. You can also have contact information. Because I have my link that goes to everything and people can access all of that relatively easily, I've chosen not to add contact information to my Instagram profile. But if you were a brick and mortar, you would probably want to have contact information. You'd probably want to put your physical address or a phone number where somebody could call and purchase from you, right? And then action buttons are really great because this is an opportunity for people to order food, book now, learn more, opt in, sign up, apply, whatever action you want them to take. So for me, I have it set up to go to the opt-in for my latest free training. And that's really great for me. I like that option. Even though it's in my link page as well, it's right there, super easy for them to click on. And then what's great too, is you can also add highlights and the highlights will show up below your profile information, but above all of your posts and videos. And the reason that I really like this is because it's, again, it's a highlight reel of your stuff. Or if you're an influencer that makes money off of your affiliate links or people purchasing something, and then you get a commission from it, you can have different categories of highlights and you can name each of those categories. So let's say you had one for clothing, one for for programs or products, one for ticket sales, one for something else. They all come from your stories. So anything that you want to be posted as a highlight, you first have to post it as an Instagram story, and then you can post it as a highlight after the fact. So you can't take one of your posts or videos and use it as a highlight. It has to be within your stories. But this is also a great way for stories not to disappear because I hate it when you post a story and then 24 hours later, you have to post more content, right? This is a great way if you have a story that you've posted that you really, really like or that was super attractive to people or you got a lot of good feedback on, you can then take that story and use it as a highlight, which is really nice. So then it doesn't disappear. The other thing that I like is as you add new highlights, you can order them in such a way that you can change the title of the highlight. So rather than having categories, like I just suggested, you can have, you know, clothes and affiliate links or products or programs or something else, you could use the titles of those highlights to then spell something out. So if you wanted to direct them to something very, very specific, you could even make the images of each of your highlights, an arrow pointing a certain direction. And then the last or first highlight could be the one thing that you want them to look at. That's just another fun, creative way that you can make your profile stand out and be different than other people's. And then of course, all of your posts, your videos, your content, all of that shows up below. And there are fun ways that you can do posts and content. I've seen people that have an every other kind of like a checkerboard pattern with their content that they'll post a certain thing one day and then a certain thing the next day. And then when you look at it holistically at all of their posts, it shows up as like this checkerboard pattern that looks really cool. I've also seen people use posts in Instagram and post them in a chronological sort of way so that when you look at all of their posts holistically, it shows up as like whole images rather than each individual image, which is really cool. So there are some fun, exciting, and super creative ways that you can boost your Instagram profile today. It doesn't take that much effort to do a couple of these to create the link page. Like I said, if you don't have a website, you could go and create a Gmail account right now and go to Google Sites and create yourself a Google site that you can then put your highlight reel or your products or your programs or your offerings or your freebies or your affiliate links or whatever you have. You could put all of that right in there and it's awesome. 
this is the game. This is marketing 101. Stand out, be different, attract attention. There it is. I hope that this has been helpful and that you can take this list and go back into your Instagram profile and make tons of amazing updates that will be super easy and fast. I promise you could do this today in a couple hours or less. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of the Momentum Marketing Podcast. If listening to this has brought you value, improved your life, or given you insight on how to build your own momentum, then please share it with a friend and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.